Hi, welcome back. It's week six of the Healthy Living course. I'm so glad you decided to return. If this is your first week, if this is the first time you've been hearing this and you'd like to hear the recordings from some of our previous weeks, please feel free to reach out. We can send those to you. The Healthy Living course takes place every single week, every Wednesday night. There's a 30 minute healthy habits class discussing different topics of health. Each week, it's led by a different facilitator, and there's so much to learn and so much to grow. So if you haven't been participating, I hope you'll reach out and do so. And if you have been, please reach back and let me know what you thought of each of the classes. Feedback is always, always, always wonderful to hear. Tonight's topic is going to be talking about self-love and self-care. That is one of the key pieces to getting healthy. So many of us think about when we're thinking health, we think what, about nutrition, we think about hydration, we think about healthy emotion. Those things are all really important and those are usually our first steps when we're making change to health. But self-care, if you don't have it, if you're not taking care of yourself, if you don't love yourself, you're not gonna go very far with any of those things because that's what takes you through, that's what steps you forward when you are struggling, when the willpower goes away that self-care and that self-love is so, so, so vital to what we have to do to take a step to, to improve our own health. If we're not taking care of ourselves, we can't take care of anybody else. So many of us, as a mother, so often, my kids come first, my husband comes first, everybody else around me comes first, and then I fall to the wayside, and I'm not so healthy. But four years ago, I made a decision that it was time to put myself forward to put myself first for a little while and to do that by doing that not only did I go on to lose 75 pounds in the course of seven months and now I've kept it off but I've been able to do so many other things that help my family I've been able to change our entire lives so that we're living a bigger better life than we ever could have imagined and all of that was because I said decided to say yes to myself so if you find yourself not saying yes to yourself very often. If you find yourself never taking a step back and doing something for yourself, doing something to take care of you and not everybody else all the time, I'm giving you permission to stop and do something for you. What could that look like? What kinds of things could you do for yourself? It doesn't have to be big elaborate things. It doesn't have to be something that's going to take a ton of time, but maybe Maybe it's going out and taking a 15 minute walk around the block. Maybe it's going to get a massage or a manicure. That's something that for a long time, a long time ago, I always went and got my nails done. It was my thing. I loved it. I enjoyed it. And then I stopped because everybody else came in front of me and I couldn't make the time. And about six months ago, maybe eight months ago, I made the decision. I'm like, I miss that. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed going to get a manicure. And I really enjoyed taking that time with myself. And frankly, I really enjoy like having pretty nails. And so I made that time. I set it aside. Sometimes it's harder for me to find that time, but I make the time because it makes me feel good. And when I feel good, I can help other people feel good too. And it's really, really, really important. So I challenge you, if you're not doing something at least once a week to make yourself feel good, to take care of yourself, I challenge you. Find something that you can do. Find something that you can do to take care of you. The first thing you have to do is decide that you are important. Make yourself a priority. You have to feel important enough to give yourself the opportunity to change and support yourself in being successful. Be compassionate with yourself and accept that change does not happen overnight. When we're starting to add in self-love and self-care, we have to do it in small baby steps. Everything in life is about baby steps. We take one small step at a time and we get there one piece at a time, which is why I suggest creating one thing a week. Take one time a day, a week, that you can make some time for yourself and be consistent in it. Really be consistent. Make it a rock in your calendar. Make you a rock in your own calendar. Use your support system. Find a support system that can help you that can back you up, that you're not always everybody else's support system, but the people can back you up. That is so, so, <clears throat> so important to find that support system. People are, the, are gonna take care of you. And the biggest thing that I can recommend for you, celebrate your successes. Celebrate them, 
loud and proud. When I talk to a client, if they call me and say, I had a terrible week. I had such a rough week. I stop them and I say, okay, where were your wins? What was, what, give me one good thing that you can find in that week. Every time. Sometimes it's a stretch. Sometimes it was really a rotten week because we sometimes have those really rotten weeks. But I can tell you when we all stop to think about it, we can all find those wins, find those successes and practice celebrating that every single day. That's a big part of self-care. That's one of the things that I do every day. I wake, I, I wake up every morning and I think to myself, this is going to be a great day. I think to myself all the things that I'm grateful for, for waking up that morning. And sometimes if you're in a really rough spot, it might be hard. Sometimes you don't feel grateful, but we can always find things to be grateful for. Just, I'm always grateful that I've opened my eyes again, that I have another new day to move forward. Find those things that you're grateful for. And then at the end of the day, sit down and take a couple of minutes to reflect. What were your wins of the day? I keep a notebook by the side of my bed where I write down every night, I write down at least three wins of the day. Some days it's super easy and I have a whole bunch of them because I've just had a rocking awesome day and those feel really, really good. And some days it's not so easy. Some days it's hard to find my wins, but I don't go to bed until I found my three wins and it feels really good. It takes my mind off of whatever might have gone wrong that day or might have been negative and lets me go to bed feeling proud, celebrating myself. And that's so important to celebrate yourself. Self-care is number one. When you're trying to get healthy, when you're trying to make changes in the rest of your health, no matter what else is going on, you have to take care of yourself. So find those things that you love. Find that time for yourself. And let's go get healthy together. I hope you enjoy tonight's webinar. Please shoot me a message after it's over. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think so that we can, that we can uh, keep it going and I can give feedback to the presenters. And have a great day. And if you know of someone who would enjoy this, who would enjoy either my videos or the weekly email or the weekly videos, please feel free to share it. Get us connected and we will get them tapped in. Have a great day and I will see you soon.